no, the A10 was not announced. Instead, we got the M163 Vulcan, uh, a Gatling-powered uh, anti-air vehicle, or SPAAG, or SPAG, or whatever you want to call them. So this is a uh, 1969 vehicle, which is interesting. I'm guessing the uh, Japanese boat from 1975, I think it was, has opened the floodgates to more modern Vietnam-era vehicles, which means, hey, maybe we will get the uh, A-10, which, if you think about it, it's not actually that overpowered. It's not that fast, and the version that came out during the uh, 70s wasn't um, so arm um, over armed. Uh, it's discussions for another day, though. On to this uh, vehicle. It goes 64 kilometers per hour, which is cool. And, well, the cool thing about it is the 20 millimeter M61 Vulcan Gatling cannon which has a uh, fire rate of 3,000 rounds per minute, or uh, 50 rounds per second. Now, if you go look up how much ammo this thing usually carried, it can fire all of its ammo in 40 seconds. <laughs> so, uh, trigger discipline, yeah. But yeah, it's, a, it's an APC with a minigun on top used for shooting down low-flying aircraft and whatnot, and it can be used against low armored vehicles although I'm pretty sure it's gonna be taking out heavy tanks too because the uh, Werble wind does that as well uh, it has a, up to 45 millimeters of armor itself which isn't very surprising it's a SPAAG I believe it's also amphibious but it goes extremely slow and can only go forward but it'll be kind of fun to just float into the middle of uh, Poland and shoot at people in airplanes. If this thing hits your aircraft, like, it will just saw through everything. But what's a bit more surprising or interesting is the uh, fact that this vehicle has been announced. Obviously, we'll get ones for the other uh, teams. It's uh, rumored that the uh, Russians will get the uh, Shulka, the I forgot what it was. I think it's the 437s, which is going to be terrifying. And the Germans will get the uh, Gepard, the modern day one. And I'm not so sure about the British. Although, this thing coming out matches with the rumors put out by the uh, War Thunder blog. Well, I can't find the list right now, so that's irrelevant. But, um, yeah. I'm not so hyped about more modern vehicles being added. I I, don't know, I like the uh, Second World War theme and all, but um, top tier spags spags are kind of uh, necessary. Jets have been kind of harassing the tanks for a little too long. It's good for the other nations to have something that can deal with anything. Hopefully, this thing doesn't come too overpowered. Hopefully, uh, weaker computers can deal with its insane fire rate. Yeah. Um. Thanks for watching. That's all I got to say for today.